In this video, I'm going to show you the very first steps in running Python using the SPIDER IDE. Now, the acronym IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, and you'll understand more about what that is once I show you how to use it. What you're looking at is the desktop screen of a Windows Server 2012 that's running um, Windows 8. And I'm actually running this in the cloud, so you'll see that there's a little tab here at the top. Um, that has to do with the uh, remote desktop that I'm using to, to uh, run this. Uh, you can basically ignore this thing. You'll notice I can move it around in case it covers up something uh, useful. But with respect to this uh, tutorial, this little blue tab in the top means uh, nothing. Now, um, I've installed Anaconda Python, and I'm assuming that you have too. And I'm going to want to uh, run uh, two programs that are, are relating to it. And in running these programs and a variety of other things that I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about pressing the Windows button. So I want to begin by making absolutely sure that you know what the Windows button is. So I got on and did a uh, Google image search and uh, found a good uh, picture here that shows you the Windows button. It's the one with the little Windows symbol. And I'll try to make it a little bit bigger here so you can see it maybe um, a little bit uh, better. But when I talk about pressing the Windows button, that's the button that I'm talking about. So let me get this picture out of the way. Now in Windows 8, I can flip back and forth between what's called the start screen uh, and the desktop by pressing the Windows button. So in Windows 8 in comparison to Windows 7, the start menu has been replaced by a screen. So I'm going to go ahead and press the Windows button and you'll see that I've flipped over to the start screen. If I press it again, I'll flip back to the desktop. And so I want to be on the start screen here for a minute. Now at the bottom of the start screen, if I mouse down there, you'll see that this little arrow appears. And if I click the arrow, you will see all of the programs that are installed. What I wanted to point out here is that the programs relating to Anaconda are over here. We have the Anaconda uh, uh, command prompt. We have a bunch of other stuff here. And then we have Spider over here. Uh, we're going to be running these two programs. And I could run these by clicking right here, but I want to show you uh, another way of running these, which is, uh, is really effective. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Start button again, and then um, go back to the desktop. And the desktop, of course, is where I'm going to be working for the most part. Now, in Windows uh, 8 and in Windows 7 as well, this will work. Uh, if I press the Start button and start to type, it automatically performs a search. And this is oftentimes absolutely the best way to run a program. So I'm going to run the Anaconda command prompt by using this automatic search method. So what I'm going to do is hit the Windows key and start typing Anaconda, A-N-A-C. And you'll see that it automatically does a search and brings up uh, everything that matches the search, which is the Anaconda command prompt. So I can just go ahead and hit Enter, and I will launch the Anaconda command prompt. So it's right here. I'm going to go ahead and make it uh, full screen here, or maximize it, I should say. And uh, I'll move the little blue tab out of the way. Now what I want to show you is that Anaconda has a program that's called Conda that can be used to keep um, the Anaconda Python up to date. So if I type just the word Conda and hit enter, uh, you'll see that I get a help for this program and you can read about all the kinds of things that you can do with it. For example, you can get information about the current installation of Anaconda. But what I'm going to do right now is use it to make sure that your version of Anaconda is up, is up to date. So the way you do that is you type Conda, and then Update, and then Anaconda, and you hit Enter. 
and it will fetch some information and determine in my case that the package is completely up to date. Now if your version of Anaconda is not up to date this may do start doing all kinds of stuff and run for actually quite a long time but uh, don't worry about that just let it do what it's uh, it's going to do in order to make sure that your version of Ana Anaconda is completely up to date. Once Conda has assembled the information about what needs to be updated you'll be prompted for the install so you should type Y for yes at the prompt. If the update should appear to fail rerun it by typing Conda space update space dash F space Anaconda. The dash F is an option that forces the install to overwrite existing files. But experience indicates that using the dash F option will resolve most of the updating problems. Now if your conda command will not run, experience suggests that this is very likely because Anaconda did not install correctly as a result of your antivirus software. So if Conda will not run, my recommendation is that you uninstall Anaconda and then reinstall it making absolutely sure that your virus software is uh, turned off during the installation and of course turn it on uh, again when you're done. Now if you do need to reinstall Anaconda Python, going to the control panel and using the programs and features program manager to uninstall it is probably not sufficient. You will probably also have to go to the C colon backslash Anaconda folder and remove any of the files that are remaining there after you've done the uninstall. So anyway, before I showed you how to use the Spider IDE, I just wanted to make sure that you were able to update your Anaconda uh, software so that you always have the latest version. So now I'm going to close the Anaconda command prompt. I'm going to slide the little blue tab out of the way and then click on the X. And next I'm going to run the Spider IDE using exactly the same approach that I used to launch the Anaconda command prompt. Specifically I'm going to hit the Windows key and start to type Spider which is spelled S-P-Y-D-E-R the search will automatically run and select the Spider software and I can hit enter and Spider will launch. You don't have to wait for the Windows to catch up with you when you use this technique hitting the Windows key. Um, you can just do it very very quickly and so it's a very fast and effective way to launch programs. So we now have in front of us the Spider IDE and I'm going to explain what the various windows are in just a minute because first we have to do a little bit of setup. We can do this setup by going to the file menu item here and then clicking on a new project. And we're going to come up with a, a warning here that says the current workspace has not been configured yet. Do we want to do this? We do. So now it tells us what a workspace is and we need to create one of these so we can go ahead and click OK. And now the open dialog here will come up in the default folder Python scripts. And I want to show you just a little bit about this. If I click on Windows File Explore Explorer and go to Documents, I'll find two folders there, IPython Notebooks and Python Scripts, and both of these folders have been created as a part of the uh, Anaconda installation. What we're going to do is accept the default of the Python Scripts as the folder that we're going to put all of our projects in. So I'm now going to go back to the spider, and I'll go ahead and just click Select Folder which will accept the default of the Python scripts. Now it says uh, select an existing workspace or create a new one. Uh, do I want to create a workspace here? I can just go ahead and click yes. Now I actually haven't created my new project yet. Uh, when I tried to do this a second ago what it did is it triggered an overall setup which occurs when you haven't used the program before. So I'm going to go back and click New Project again. And now it will prompt me for a project name. 
and I'm going to call this Python Tutorial. Now I caution you not to put any space in here. If you do put a space in there, you'll get a, a rather unintelligible error message uh, telling you that the file name isn't okay. So just Python Tutorial will work just fine. And you'll see that Python Tutorial has been created over here in the Project Explorer. So the Project Explorer is going to show you all the projects that you have that you're working on. Now, I want to describe the windows here, and I'm going to begin with the one that's down here in the right-hand corner. Now, this is the, the console, the IPython console. And Python is an interpreted language, which means that Python will read essentially one statement at a time and then try to execute that. And in general, the window in which you put in your commands for an interpreted language is called something like the console. So I can actually type Python commands in here, and I'm going to type uh, one that will really be your first, very first Python program. And it's traditional to have your first program in any language print out hello world. So if I type print and then the string hello world in quotes and hit enter, what will happen is that Python will read that command and in fact print out hello world. So that's what the console is. The console is where the commands are going to be executed. This window over here is an editor. And uh, an editor is where I'm basically going to build up my programs. So for example, if I want to be a little bit more expansive than hello world, I might want to print, say, hello solar system. And that will get two exclamation points. And now if I hit enter, nothing happens. And nothing happens because this is an editor. It's not the command interpreter. What I'm going to want to do is build up a whole series of commands that create a program in this editor. And then I'll need to execute those statements over in the console. And because this is an integrated development environment, which means all these pieces hang together, uh, and there's a lot of other functionality that you can do with regard to debugging that I'm not going to show you in this, this very early introductory tutorial. But I am going to show you how you take these statements and execute them over here. Basically, you just select the statement, and then you can hit F9. And you'll see that the command print hello solar system has now been copied over into the console and then executed, and sure enough, it prints hello solar system. Now, how did I know to use F9? Well, if you explore these menus, like in this particular case, the run menus, you're going to see the keyboard shortcuts next to the menu items. And so this menu item run selection can be executed by F9. Uh, if I wanted to be even more expansive, I might say hello universe. And that'll get three exclamation points. And then again, I can execute this by just uh, selecting it and hitting F9. There's hello universe. Or I can execute a whole series of lines just by selecting them and again hitting F9. So I don't have to do this one line at a time. So here we have print hello solar system and print hello universe. And we get hello solar system and hello universe. So that's the editor window and how you can take commands that are in the editor window and execute them in the console. The window in the upper right hand side here that right now says object inspector is really used for information. And I'll talk about this more later. Um, there are three tabs here, the object inspector, the variable explorer, and the file explorer. And uh, they are for looking at objects, and we'll know what those are later, variables in the programs, and files. The final window here we've already been exposed to, and that's the project explorer, which shows you what projects you currently have uh, working in that folder Python scripts. And for the most part, I'm not going to want this window around, so I'm typically going to just go ahead and exit out. If I did want to get it back, I'd go to View, and then Panes, and then check Project Explorer, and it would come back. But as I say, for the most part, it's just taking up screen real estate that's not doing me any good. So in this video, I have showed you how to make sure that your version of Anaconda is up to date. 
I then showed you how to launch the Spider integrated development environment and I've briefly described the various windows and you have now in fact executed your very first Python program and printed out not only Hello World which is traditional but Hello Solar System and Hello Universe. So I'm going to conclude this first steps video at this point and the next video will begin to actually introduce you to the Python language.